All right, you know what? I'm just too damn hungry, everybody. What's up, guys? Oh, fail. Check out, you know what? I just want to, I want you all to check out this case right here, everybody, because I just picked this up about an hour ago. So shout out to the iPhone 7. Boom. Hello. Hello, people. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? Who we, who we have in the chat right now? Strangely enough, no regulars. Fernando, Fernando is a regular. What's up, Fernando? How you doing tonight? Um, 69 of you watching right now. I'm pretty good for a Sunday night. I'm doing a lot of different, um, well, more frequent live streams, I should say. Um, now you guys are probably wondering just where the hell I am. For those of you who do know, don't spoil it. Because you guys that do know are on my social media. Therefore, you do know where I'm at. So... Uh, Kieran Cantwell says, I love to watch you neck food. Whatever necking, maybe. <laughs> um, hope you guys are doing well. Um, I have a horrible migraine because I've been traveling all day. I haven't eaten all day. I'm extremely hungry. Yes, it is technically, well, it's technically 5.50 California time, but I'm in a different place. So let's just put it that way. Um, shout out to everybody spoiling where I'm at right now. That I know for a fact is not on my social media. How fast can you drink a beer? No idea. I hate beer, sir. You guys want to know how weird this is? Okay, so I don't have my normal camera that I use to use live streams, so I keep looking to the side to look to you guys, but I keep forgetting that you guys are here, not there. It's weird. Um, World-class douchebag, what's up, sir? Hope you guys are liking the uh, frequency of the live streams right now. I have, obviously, have more time to do them, so. Um, well, at least for now, I have more time to do them, so. That's where we're at. We're at. That is where we're at. Um, everybody. Take a gander. Now, um, I got some teeth tonight I have never, I don't think I've ever gotten before. Actually, smells pretty good. It's been sitting for about 45 minutes because I just got back from walking around. I feel like I've walked already like two miles. So, um, yeah, it's actually pretty short. How you guys looking the, uh, no shave November look. Um, yeah. So, hold on. We gotta we gotta take care of some business. Good night. Lewis says I am dislike this music. I'm sorry, Lewis. Any tips on increasing endurance a hundred times? No, I, 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 I don't. You should starve yourself some more. I like food too much, sir. I'm sorry. can't really do that. But if you want to, feel free. I don't recommend it, though. Anyways, everybody, so here we go. This is totally vegan-friendly. I had to. I had to. Uh, we have a mound of salsa on this. Now, uh, if you guys can guess what this actually is, I'll give you a high five. Give you a high five. Um, next, we have. Yeah, guys, it's a salad. This is vinaigrette I've never had before. Vinaigrette. Oh, Jesus. Whew, that hit me. Probably not going to like that. Um. Your ass is going to be in bits, Eric, with the C. Thank you, sir. Waiting for ghost peppers. If you guys want to send me ghost peppers, I just saw Nate Figueroa's ghost pepper challenge that he did. And I actually want to try one. Or a couple. So, um, oh, look, it's my room key. Enjoy. Drink that vinegar. I'm not going to be drinking the vinegar because that's disgusting. Disgusting. Um, yeah. Thumbnail picture. Yeah, tomorrow is going to be very interesting, everybody, because the contest is tomorrow. So uh, what I have essentially is – well, I'll show you guys what I have. This is already pulled, so fuck it, right? Uh, and then I'm going to tell you guys what I did tonight because you guys are going to be pretty amazed. So um, since I don't really have a grocery store next to me – Yes. It's 
skinny pop so you can eat the entire bag. This is not capacity training food right here, just so you know. This is just because I'm hungry. Um, and because <laughs> you can eat the entire bag, it's going to be completely really fine. What else do I have? Um, I went out to a local Walgreens. <laughs> it's like, fuck, man, what else do I get? Um, um, and then, boom, peanut butter, guys. It's natural, so you can eat the entire jar. I, guess I should just stop now. Um, <laughs> zero fucks given right now. But, you know, we had to get some weight and then, you know, some of this right here. So some water, some agua. Um, how much could you eat high? Uh, and I addressed marijuana in actually my last live stream. It, just just so you know, I'm just going to eat a little pro tip. It doesn't really do much. So, yeah. Eric, are you going to be on TV? That's for you to find out, sir. I can't really talk about it, sir. I keep saying sir. I don't know why I keep saying sir. Dude, you look like one of the chickens from the movie Chicken Run. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know if that's a really just bad insult or um, I just can't. I'm too tired and hungry to be insulted right now. Um, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. This, I don't even think I've ever tried the medium salsa. I'm doing a lot of stuff I haven't tried tonight, guys. The girl there was, you know what? She had a long day, I could tell. Um, yeah, just was not feeling it. Ooh, I don't know about this one, guys. It's supposed to be, this is like, practically like lukewarm right now it's not not doing it but i have not eaten in like 18 hours and i'm hungry so but before i get to this though since 102 of you are tuning in right now 102 of you are tuning in to watch me in my hotel room shout out to mr king car mr pedro hello sir we have uh, Fernando, world class douchebag, all of the regulars in the chat right now, just tuning in. We're about to do this, kill it, and then get to that. This is the live stream, guys. You guys know we have to do. I keep saying guys. I say guys way too much. I should stop saying guys, but I can't. I never will. The money shot. This awkward pause. Ellis tries to focus. It's not focusing. It never focuses. I pay all this money for fucking cameras and they don't focus. Gosh. I hate having to do this. This is like the ghetto method. Shout out to Sofridis. Mm. Even though it's cold, still good. Still good, everybody. Yeah, did, did Conor McGregor win? I'm going to assume so because I'm, I'm a fan of Conor McGregor. I think he's a badass. Burrito bowl or burrito? Honestly, sir, I'm not a fan of either. I just, I'm in Chipotle. That's the only thing I even recognize in the area that I'm in, so I just went in. Apart from the Walgreens I went to. This is not bad, though. Like, shout out to Mr. Brian Turner for introducing me to Sofritas. Are you going to do any calorie challenges anytime soon? Well, right now, sir, um... Every day is a calorie challenge. How about that? I fucking hate when I can't find my mouse to ban people. Can you make a challenge eating bizarre food or ethnic food from any country of your preference? Probably not any country of my preference because I have to have an area near me that serves that type of food or yeah people send it to me where's the official live stream shirt i don't have an official live stream shirt 
and I'm not home, so I wasn't really planning on doing this. I'm going to try this vinaigrette, though. Oh, my God. Oof. I am not, I don't have high hopes for this, people. I'm just going to, I'm not going to lie right now. I'm not going to lie. Nah, not good. Sorry. What time is the contest tomorrow? When will the secret location and topic be released? People want to know. Well, guys, um, this is, it's supposed to be completely confidential, even me just talking about it. I can't. But. Um, I will say that the location and everything contest will be released on TV in about a month. It should be about a month, but not in America, though. See, I'm throwing you guys for a loop right now. Is Prowler weight sled good H-I-I-T after lifting? Um, I've never used one, so therefore I can't say it's good or bad. It's good. Cardio is good if, if, if it's your preference, if you like doing it. Don't force yourself to do cardio that you don't like doing. My favorite color? What is my favorite color? Your mom. Oh, the music just stopped right when I said that. Your mother. When is the meetup? I don't know what meetup you're talking about. I do know that I'm about to try this medium salsa, though. Yeah, my 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 tushy my my tushy my tushy is gonna be uh, prepared for tomorrow for sure with all this fire. Favorite Mexican food, by the way. I have, I have many favorites. I live in San Diego, California, right next to the border. So if you've ever had a uh, uh, California burrito, they are bomb. Shout out to Sophia. What's up, Sophia? I'm still waiting on the Kit Kat. I love the Kit Kat. Everybody, Sophia made a gigantic, I think, like, just a huge ass Kit Kat on her Facebook. You can't come to my city and, and no meetup, please. Well, when you're doing TV um, stuff, you can't really, like, you don't really have a choice. Unfortunately. So, guys, here's the thing for tomorrow. This is all like a qualifier. So, if I even make it through tomorrow, I will be I'll be here for the week. Now, if uh, I do not make it through tomorrow, then I will not be here. I will be literally going home hours later. That's why I'm not like I'm not even like really unpacking my bag for it yet. So, you should do a Christmas food challenge, you should do a turkey challenge, you should do a Mexican food challenge, you should do a British food challenge. That's hilarious. I've never had so many freaking people tell me that I needed to do challenges all in like one chat sequence. You should do cheats giving again. No, as I said twice in my... Um, Last live stream, I'm not going to be doing that because I'm going to be enjoying the time with my family. I might do something <clears throat> after that, though. But it's bad luck to unpack if there's multiple rounds. No, well, the qualifier is one round. So if I qualify and I win, then I'm set. But... It's crazy, guys. There's, like, mass protests going on in, in um, the place I'm in right now. So there's a lot of um, paranoia, a lot of hysteria going on. 
Got a water pour though, guys. Check that out. Oh yeah. I'm actually supposed to be chugging two of these right now, but I don't care. When you guys travel for contests, it's the worst thing in the world. I don't expect any of you to be able to relate to this at all, but it is literally the worst thing in the world. Um, like if you have a contest locally, it's pretty cool. Like I know I've done a few in LA, so I can easily just drive up to LA. But like, fuck, I get off the plane today and I have like the worst fucking migraine in the world. I hate it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's shitty, but, uh, I hope I do my best tomorrow. I did not prepare for this at all. At all, at all, at all. So, do a Thanksgiving challenge, turkey, gravy, mashed potatoes, stuffing. I still, I don't think people like hear me when I'm saying I'm not doing it. <laughs> I, I, apparently, I, keep, I have to keep saying it, just like everything. Just like everything. What are the protests for? So, Mr. Moderator, Mr. World Class. Um, we elected Donald Trump to be our president. I don't know if you were around when this happened, but um, I'm being a sarcastic douchebag right now. About um, a week ago, and um, people aren't liking that too much, therefore they're protesting. What are your thoughts on the protests? I think people are protesting. First of all, we're allowed to protest. We live in one of the most culturally diverse, freedom-filled places in the world. There are some areas in this world that um, if you did what some of these people are doing via protest, you would get killed. Your family would be killed. So, in that sense, we should be thankful. We should be thankful. Um, God damn it, I fucking hate when my mouth won't work. Apparently, Flow Magic says, Good God, you're a douche. I am a douche. I can be a douche sometimes. I can be a big asshole sometimes, too. Which is why you're banned. Oh, good night. That's what we call savage. Savage. White people protesting, white people always entitled. Shake my head. Everybody protests, everybody's entitled. It's not exclusive to race. Um, but, yeah, that's just my, my, my view on it. So, um, <laughs> apparently I can't, <laughs> I'm on a banning spree right now. You know what I just realized, guys? Last live stream, I didn't do what I've always done. And do. Oh, man. So, guys, I used to do 10 minute rapid fire QAs, and that's what we're going to do right now. Let's see how this goes. I might bring him back. We're doing this. 10 minutes, guys. You ask me any question you want, no holds barred. Boom. Lock and load. How is the Chipotle? It's cold. I've had better. Like your mother. <laughs> Got him. No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's okay. Just join in is ending, LOL. I didn't say it was ending yet, sir. How's the date search going? Um, I like usually like to the, have these like questions like straight to the point, but I have to say I'm gonna elaborate on this a little bit. I was walking around New York City tonight. It's kind of depressing. A lot of restaurants, a lot of bars, seeing a lot of couples together. You guys know me. I'm like a hopeless romantic. Ever co-op with Nate Figs? I have. Not in per. Ooh, not in person yet though. How old are you? I'm 23. Going on 43. 
What's your favorite cookie? Oatmeal raisin, no questions. How many poops do you do each day on average? How many poops do I do? I do one for now. I've always done one. What are your PRs? Um, I PR every day on life. Would you ever try Tinder? Um, sure, possibly. Ice cream cake or regular cake? Ice cream cake, no questions asked. What do you like to get from Chipotle? Typically nothing, because I don't really eat at Chipotle usually. Do you think the popular vote should count? I personally don't because most people aren't informed and over 20,000 people voted for Crombie. Crombie? How do you pronounce his name? Um, I'm not going to answer that question because it's a very, it's something I'm gonna ram, ramble about. What's your favorite chip? Uh, that would be salt and vinegar. Collab with Jason Genova. I'm waiting. It's sick. It piss. It revolting. Soon, I'd love to collab with Jason. That'd be fucking awesome. Patrol some people. Patrol uh, piano. Rich piano. Rich Reed says favorite question or same questions on every single live stream. Welcome to my life, sir. Crackers or chips? Crackers. <laughs> Native, who has a picture of Donald Trump, as his profile picture says, don't believe all the bullshit they say about Trump. I'll try. Hot Cheetos or Takis? I've, tackies? I've never had Takis. I've seen them before. I've never had them before. My favorite chip of all time, though, I have to take that earlier statement back, is going to be Funyuns. Uh, Matt Stoney or Furious Pete? Matt Stoney of Furious Pete? I think he meant to say or. Um, both. They're both good eaters. Eric with a C on the road for an eating challenge. Eric with a K is on the road for an eating contest. What do you usually eat the day after food challenges? Uh, coffee. I can. I, I directly chomp down the coffee. What countries do you want to travel? Uh, that's hard. Probably, I'd say Germany. Germany would be really cool. Favorite cereal to eat dry without milk. Hmm, that's interesting. I have to say, this is really hard. Dry cereal without milk. Mm, it's gonna sound weird, but no. Well, I used to eat Frosted Mini Wheats without milk when I was a kid. Ah, uh, Cheerios. We're gonna go with Cheerios. Easiest food to speed eat would be ice cream. So far. Why are you hungry all the time, brah? No idea, brah. Do you get money from this? Get that money, make it rain? Yes. I think. Tips for increasing appetite. Um... You can do more cardio. Cardio really helps with appetite. Um, limit caffeine. Where are you staying at? Sophia wants to know. I'm not staying at your mother's house. 
I'm staying at the Ritz Carlton. My butler Chad, she'll be up in a second. He wants to say what's up to you guys. I'm gonna ring his bell. How hard is it to come back from missing school because of this? It's just one day, man. One day won't kill you. Casey Neistat hasn't vlogged in three days. What might be the issue? Whew. That's that's rough. I don't know. Honestly, with Casey, I don't follow his channel enough. I don't really watch a lot of people that vlog. It's kind of funny because I do, but I don't watch people that vlog. I'm staying at the Trump Hotel. Yes. Sophia gets it. Do you think skipping cardio is bad? Um, not necessarily. I don't really think it's bad. I mean, I think more people should do it. How's the food? One out of ten. It's about a three out of ten. I I mean, I'm not going to beat around the bush here, guys. This is cold as fuck. Granted, it's a salad, but... Have you vomited after a challenge? Yes, I have. It's not fun. Reverse this Q&A and ask your chat questions. Sir, maybe this is your first Q&A, but that's not the way it works. It's not the way it works, at least not now. Because Ben and Jerry's is a really high price in Japan, it is rarely eaten. Um, yeah, I've heard it's like super crazy expensive in Australia and Japan, and like China and stuff. You shouldn't eat food you don't like dough. True, I don't like temperature or food that has cold temperatures to it. I'm worrying that correctly. Eric, ever try cream of wheat? I have. I prefer cream of rice, though. Try not to. Uh, cream of rice literally has like no fiber in it. You guys got one minute left. Come on. Throw them at me. Did you watch the Travis S video today? I did not. Did you try a hot dog from the cart yet? Hell no, I didn't. I hate hot dogs. What is the challenge? What is the challenge? Challenge. Again, I'm not doing a challenge. It's a contest. What is your favorite fruit? Don't tell me I got Gala. Damn it, I got Gala. Fuck. I want to get Fuji. Fuck me. Oh, well. That's what you get for shopping at Walgreens. <laughs> That's what you get for shopping at Walgreens. Oh, well. That's been the 10 minute QA, everybody. Like how that just ended perfectly like that. Uh, what is your name? I don't even know what my name is sometimes. I just refer to myself. Like my boarding pass, guys, when I got on the plane today. I was just like, sup, I'm Eric the Electric. I just handed it straight to them. I'm just like, sup. Sup, guys. What is your favorite type of apple? Fuji. The Fuji is the way to go. When you guys get, this is the worst thing about Chipotle. When you get all the way down at the bottom, there's like water slash sodium filled juice. Oh well. Did you travel on your own? I did. I'm a big I'm a big boy. 
about to get even bigger after this trip. Guys, I'm going to be, if I make it through the qualifier, I'm going to be 500 pounds when I get back. So, I'm just letting you guys know. Let you guys know in advance. Um, I do want to say, though, guys, I did... Damn, it's really hard because I want to talk about this. I posted a picture. If you guys are on my social media, you will see where I went about two hours ago. Can't say it on here because um, I'll give it away. But if you guys go on, you'll get a hint about what I'm talking about. But um, a very powerful place that uh, I feel like everybody should go to in their life lifetime and visit is a memorial, um, and it really took me back. Um, when you guys like go different places, like I, for me, when I've I've gotten the opportunity to travel and everything like that, but I haven't like taken advantage of, you know, going to different places and seeing different things. So, um, went there tonight, and uh, it was like you guys will see when I put up the vlog and everything. Um, it really like almost brought me. I I didn't cry or anything, but like I like, granted I was freezing as I was frozen as shit outside, and like my arm, like it just crazy how. Uh, this like wave of emotion like, came over me. Um. But, yeah, it was uh it was really intense. But you guys will just you guys will see in the next video. Um, yeah, I'm actually just really glad, like, the city I'm in, I, it just makes me want to travel more. I don't travel enough, so, um, but yeah, to walking around and seeing all the different people, and, you know, they're out there, they're out with significant others, so, kind of made me think, I'm just like, yeah, you know what, it'd be nice to be traveling with somebody, but... I can dream. I can dream. Don't tell me they had them in here. Whatever happened, guys, to hotel rooms having like mini bars? That was like the coolest thing. I remember whenever I go to hotels as a kid, I'd raid the mini fridge and get like the best. They used to have those like like Snickers bars that were like um, ice cream Snicker Snickers bars. They were so freaking good. Oh my gosh. What is your favorite place for grocery shopping? Um, depends. I like Ralph's Kroger. I would definitely recommend the Bahamas as a place for your next vacation. If only I actually had vacation, sir. I would definitely love to go. I would definitely love to go. It's not it's likely not going to happen, though. Shout out to Satan Loves Coffee. What up, Satan? <laughs> so weird for you to say that. Hotels try to scam you with the water bottles that cost $20 each. You know what, sir? They do. And that's, you know, guess my solution right there. That's my solution to that. Guys, this whole thing weighs eight pounds. So think about the fact that my stomach is going to be taking in this plus this in 10 minutes tomorrow. I mean, plus, I don't know, what else, whatever else happens, but yeah. Oh, what up, my girl Chelsea Lips is in the chat. What's up? It's been only been like three years since you've been in the live stream. Just, you don't like me anymore. I see how it is. I see how it is. Funny enough, you tuned in for me eating gross Chipotle Sofritas. Thank Brian for that. No, just kidding. Just kidding. 
Um, what was I talking about? Yes, tomorrow. It's going to be cold as shit, too, and I did not pack right. I packed... The only thing I packed, guys, that's going to give me any warmth... Hold on. Warmth is this cute little sweatshirt, or sweater, this lifted one. And I'm waking up at 6 a.m. tomorrow to go train. Guys, what I'm gonna, I'm actually going to ask you all a question right now. Where do you think I'm going to be training tomorrow? Out of all... In, damn it, I can't see where I'm at again. Where... Do you guys think I will be training? What gym? This girl has been going to bed before midnight. Finally, those sofritas are bomb. They have perfect texture for burritos. They do. They are better than any meat. Hold on. Meat. Meat at Chipotle. I'm glad you're going to bed before midnight, though, Chelsea. You do need sleep. You work too much. Trump gym. <laughs> The hotel gym. I could. I'm way too lazy, though. Actually, no, I'm not baiting. That's not the right word for it. I'm just, I would not want to go to the hotel gym. It's going to be like one treadmill. Ridge Reed, my boy Ridge Reed got it first. I'm going to be training tomorrow, everybody. My first time, because it's the only fucking gym where I'm at, is Planet Fitness. I'm going to Planet Fitness. It's going to be very interesting, everybody. Let me just put it that way. I don't know what to expect. I honestly, I don't know what to expect. Oh boy, no, don't train at Planet Fitness. Um, I don't really have a choice. Hanan asks, what's so good about Planet Fitness? From what I hear, nothing is good about Planet Fitness. But I think people knock on Planet Fitness because other people say that Planet Fitness is bad and because they have a look alarm and all this bullshit. But guys, com all commercial gyms are the same. Let's be honest here. If you disagree with me, then I'm sorry. Expect no barbells. It's fine, I can do perfectly well with the dumbbells. I can do I can do deadlifts in the Smith rack, right guys? <laughs> They're not gonna I don't even think I can film in there. But I'll probably be like low key. Do you guys know if Planet Fitness do they have like a you probably have to do like a day pass, I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna it's just gonna be super like weird just because I've seen so many um trolling videos by my boy Eric Konevsky on him. It was really funny to see that though, the first one he put out. Ten dollar day pass. Yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna wake up tomorrow. Six in the morning. We go to Starbucks. Blah. Go to Starbucks and then get my coffee on. And then I have no idea where I'm going to even train tomorrow. Shout out to Remington, he says, just wanted to say it seems like you're enjoying YouTube more lately after rebounding from your slump. Keep up the videos, love watching them. Appreciate the feedback, sir. Um, yeah, YouTube is just kind of like, it's great because it allows me to connect with you guys. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. And then I have more like, you know, ideas I want to do in the future. How long of a distance do you bike in a day? Uh, no idea. Today it was zero. I sat on my ass and flew. 
what are some of the foods that you're going to be eating for this contest? Cannot reveal that. I wish I could. It does look kind of like this. Kind of does. Uh, do you rely on caffeine to exercise? Yes and no. Um, caffeine is a great uh, source of energy. In the morning, I recommend everybody partake in your daily coffee or morning coffee. Um, yeah. You've lost weight in a good way. Quite the opposite, but thank you for your observation. Um, did you go to school for biking? I did not. Uh, when I would open up YouTube, you used to be the third or fourth person I would have to watch in my sub boxes. Now you're the first or second every time. Love following your journey, says Mr. Jack Hartman. Thank you, Jack, for the support. Appreciate it, dude. You rock. Do you ever feel faint from exercise? No. I I don't think I've ever gotten to that point. If you are, you're doing something wrong. What's a good energy drink for the morning? Hold on, ready? Ready for it? Ready for it? There's no coffee in here, though. I don't even know how the fuck you make coffee in the hotel rooms. Wolfgang Puck. Who the fuck drinks this shit? Decaffeinated? Get the fuck out of here. Better have some good shit in here. I'm not. I'm not drinking coffee in here. Ah, we got. We got some good shit. No decaf. What else do we have? Good shit. Uh, Sophia misses the protein reviews from back in the day. Well, I have another one coming on the way that I just ordered, so you'll have another one. Eric, did you know that broccoli is very high in vitamin C? Yes, I did. It's also very high in fiber, which makes me poo and makes me happy. Just go to Starbucks. Like I said, I'm going to be doing that. Favorite cinnamon flavored food would be cinnamon rolls because some motherfucker on the plane just had to bring a fresh Cinnabon right behind me today. Gosh. Killed me. There's nothing worse than having a crying baby right next to you than the person behind you eating a delicious cinnamon roll. Oh my goodness. Gosh. How are you spending Christmas? Can you YouTube your family? That is exactly what I'm going to do. Knock on the door. Be like, sup? I'm going to YouTube you guys. I'm going to film all of you opening up presents. I can have my family just like awkwardly like, um, yeah. <laughs> Not going to happen though. Do you fly Virgin America? I probably fly with Virgins on American Airlines. <laughs> it's such a, I was trying to make a joke out of that. just failed epically. No, I don't. Do you have any tips for when you are really full, how to keep your stomach from hurting? Um, your stomach's going to hurt. I mean, there's no real way around it. So you kind of have to embrace it. Unless you're like, there's like no real reason for you to eat until your stomach hurts. I don't know unless you're stupid like me. Pike or blonde roast? I'm a pike guy by far. How do you like the iPhone 7? It's pretty cool. The iPhone 7, everybody is doing the John... <laughs> oh, I hate my... I just hate my brain sometimes. I was going to say it's doing the job well. But my boy, Mr. John Glaude, uh, Obese to Beast, you guys, 
seen it before, um, just texted me. So I saw John and said that it's doing the John well. It's like, what the fuck, Eric? Like, think, dude. Think, think, think. Um, do you live alone? Any tips? Yes, I do. Uh, tips on living alone? Don't. I don't usually recommend. Unless you're in, like, your 50s, don't do it. But I feel like I'm in my 50s. Um, tips to get past the mental block of adding fat during a bulk. This is a good, very good one. For me, lately, um, not only will you feel better, but uh, if you guys like to eat, I mean, who doesn't like to eat, right? If you like to eat food, you should know that when you put on more mass, um, your body is going to require more calories. So, um, for example, like somebody that's used to being at like 150 pounds, eating 2,200 calories a day to maintain their weight, if they add on a good solid 10 to 15 pounds of muscle mass, they'll likely be able to, you know, increase that to be like a 25 to 2,800, you know. So... That's just like an example. I'm not saying that that's going to happen. That number is going to happen, but it's pretty cool. Um, tips on how not to binge. I have multiple videos, Rebecca, if you'd like to check them out on my channel. Generally, though, if you do have a serious problem, I always recommend therapy. How do you get skinny? No idea, sir. No idea. Favorite Christmas recipe? Oh. Gosh, I have so many. Um, well, my grandmother, she makes these awesome cookies. Oh, my gosh. I'm waiting for them this year. Waiting for them, waiting for them, waiting for them. Do you take your bike when you travel? No, because I don't, I, I don't usually travel. I went to Canada um, a, I almost said a week, uh, about a month ago, and that was terrible. That was absolutely horrible because I had to fly international. It is cool though because Toronto is basically like New York, but like a quarter of the size. New York's really, really cool. Fuck, I said it. Fuck me. Damn it. Fuck you guys. Whatever. Screw it. I blew it. Um, chances are 87 of you weren't even, or like half of you guys were paying attention anyway, so. What age do you want to live to? What age do you think you'll live to? Uh, probably, if I continue this lifestyle, probably about my 50s. But I don't continue, plan on continuing this lifestyle. So probably, hopefully, I'd like to be like 70, 80. What do you consider a good weight for a girl that's five foot five? Um, I don't know. I don't believe in having ideal weights for anybody. Because everybody's different. Everybody's different genetics, different bone structures blood work, etc., which I do need to do when I get home. Did you see Nathan's new video yet? No, I haven't. I will, though. After I turn, turn off the live stream, I will. I wish I could go to all these places that people are telling me to go, but... When you're filming for 12 hours a day, you don't really have a lot of options. How much can you lift? Everything. And everything. And everything. Tim Hortons for the win. Still need to go to Tim Hortons. I still need to go. Gosh, I have the worst fucking headache ever. Oh. So New York... The Patriots are losing to Seattle right now. I'm actually really happy. If there's one thing you guys know about me. I do not like when you're a Patriot. 
Why do I say New York Patriots, New England? Damn it, guys. I'm fucking blowing it, dude. I'm so dumb right now when I don't... Oh, when I need sleep. Gosh. I do need to go to bed. I do need to go to bed. Do you ever plan on trying a... Do you finish a whole jar of powdered peanut butter without drinking anything? That sounds... Sounds like a death wish. Um, no, I don't ever plan on that. I don't ever plan on that. It's only 9.30, says Canadian kid. Well, when you've been traveling all day and you've been up since 4 a.m., it does, it does kind of wear on you. So... Eric's to-do list is end live stream, watch Nathan and Travis as video to sleep, wake up, coffee, and eat. Yes, add to that end live stream, take a nap, wake up in about 30 minutes, eat more, and then go to sleep. Wait, no, I'll probably watch videos while I eat. So... Oh yeah, I should give you guys a tour of my hotel room. This is actually pretty sick. You guys are gonna like this one. So, well, you guys will see in the video too. So, first of all, this is balling right here. This door, that's pretty sick. It's like a secret door. And then they have my customized Eric the Electric robe right here. It's not really Eric the Electric robe, but. Yeah, pretty standard, pretty standard. Usual stuff, usual stuff. But the thing that's most mind-blowing, everybody, it's still 73, 70 degrees in here. I keep turning up the heat, but it's not working. Oh, hey, there I am, and there you guys are. Oh, so I can't find the lights for my room, except for like in the front, which is super weird. Um, but guys, check out this view. That is all, that's a freaking downtown New York right there. Pretty insane, not gonna lie. Then you walk out this side right here. Or you look out this side. Boom. There's more of the street right there. So pretty crazy, pretty crazy, and that's my hotel room. Clorox wipe them remotes in all services in any hotel. I don't choose to live my life that way. You're gonna get germs from pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. So. Everybody, this has been another live stream. You guys will see the next one, well, next live stream, hopefully, if I survive tomorrow. But I want to say thank you, everybody, for tuning in to watch. It's been awesome. I need to finish this and then eat more food and prepare for tomorrow. Thanks for watching the video, guys. World Class, if you're still in the chat, what do we say? Go ahead and bite, guys.